Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. He doesn't that like hats. Be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you'll see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, uh, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Protect him as you would me? He's growling at Eddie. Can we get back to the bit where he doesn't like people with hats? Because that could be an issue. Yippee, yeah, there'll be no wedding bells for And we're back. And I can hear two different songs. There's a faint one off in the background. That is marginally annoying. I think it's, ain't that a kick in the head? Right, it's, it's very faint. You, could, you know what, let's stop worrying about that. Right, I'm still here in the King's School of Impersonation. I've just said goodbye to Eddie. We've sent him on his way back to our house in Good Springs because we've got to take Rex here to see a doctor in Jacobstown. Rex! Stop growling at me. You don't like people with hats, do you? Dude, we're on the same side. Cut that, I'll turn you into a hat, okay? Probably not the best way. Look, we're on the same side. We yeah, okay. Can I keep the hat? Don't make me take the hat off. You're a great looking dog and everything, and I am going to get you fixed, but don't make me choose between you and my hat, because I have to tell you, you're probably gonna lose, okay? What? Don't we? How, how are you feeling? Yeah, I know. I'm still working on getting you fixed. And when I say fixed, I don't mean in the, you know, bad way. We're not gonna... You're still gonna be able to have fun with a lady friend. Can you have fun with a lady friend? Like, you're a robot. You know what? Let's not have that conversation. We're going to take you to Jacobstown. And get you sorted out, okay? Uh, I want to take a closer look at you, apparently. Okay, I'm taking a look. Examine the painting of the bull on Rex's side. The paint, though weathered and fading. No, 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 what did it say? What did it say? I didn't. Okay, Rex's brain case. It looks sickly in the gel contector. Oh. Examine Rex's mechanical parts. Bodywork is battered, scorched, and scratched. It's remarkable. The, oh. the paint, though weathered and fading, is... This is slightly annoying. Okay, painting. Fading. It's still a recent addition to Rex's bodywork. Okay. So, there's been a recent addition, a painting. Uh, his brain case, the gel, doesn't look much better. It's looking a bit sickly. Examine the mechanical parts. Battered, scorched, scratched. Remarkable that the... Gotta do it again. That the biological parts of him survived at all. Okay, so you're looking a bit beaten up, okay? All right. That was a little annoying. I think we should travel together. Yes! Rex has given you the search and mark perk. I have... Oh! You know, I may have... Um... Yeah, I may have tweaked that. Wait here, let's talk about your tactics. Let's talk about your tactics. Aru? Did you say Aru? Um, I want to change your combat style. I want you to attack, no, I want you to not attack enemies unless I've engaged with them, okay? Yeah, yeah, basically. Wait for me to take the first shot. I don't want you running off and attacking everything, except rats, apparently, because the, that's just, yeah. Uh. Let's also talk about the distance. Uh, keep your distance. Try to flank them, yeah? Don't stay close because, because generally speaking, wherever I am, there's an awful lot of chaos, explosions, and bullets going on. And I don't want you to get caught in the crossfire, okay? So, and hopefully I could do all of that via the... Uh, Yes, there we go, Rex and Arcade. If you had asked me a month ago, 
Out Sorry, of I wasn't looking never at you. Willingly work with the I have ACR. a dog! Look at That's kind of cool. Right. I know I've got plenty of things to do. I've got to sort the whole situation out with house. Although, I feel like I'm one step closer to that now that I have the kings on my side and also on the NCR's side. It, we're turning the tide against house. I really want to prioritize the dog. Yes, I do. As astounding as this might be, I've never been to Jacobstown. And the closest place I can park the van is here at West Side West Entrance, the pawn shop. So I'm going to have to walk up this road past the, the vault. And I made it to Silver Peak Mine before. I went to Ranger Station Foxtrot. I do remember that. Yes. So, we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us. But honestly, that... Oh, we can get out this way. That almost sounds kind of relaxing right now. Yes, it does. Oh. And my relaxation ended the second I remembered. This is Cazador territory, isn't it? So we go up here, we join that road, and we follow it. And hope like hell we don't... I'm hearing gunshots. There were the two outlaws somewhere over there, weren't they? Do you, do you remember that? It was the... Oh, I can't remember their name. The, the submachine gun and the car in Prim, and there were two... You know what, never mind. I'm not sure either of you... No, definitely not. Neither of you were there with me. It's a long story, and it's kind of silly. Yes, it is. Do you is. like me? <sighs> Forgot about you. I know I'm going that way, but I'm now curious. I'm not 100% sure I've ever actually tried to wander this far up. There's a farm there. Have I ever? Okay. Should I assume I'm not going to be able to... Okay, ooh, 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 right. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just assume what we already know. That's an odd thing to say, but you know what I mean. I'm not getting through there, am I? I've never actually tried, though. I've never tried. I remember there were some big horners, and there were some of those little... Mantis grasshopper things. Although there doesn't seem to be anything anymore. Perhaps we killed them all off. You. Oh no, there's some big horners. Are they big horns or big horners? Now I need to know. Ah, they. That's the. Oh, God. Banana yucca plant. Okay. Well, I need to get... No. I, I, just, I just wanted to get close enough to identify you. Apparently, I... We don't need food. And we don't need to waste the ammo. Just to... Satisfy my curiosity. I think it's Big Horner, isn't it? That sounds wrong when I say it out loud. Oh, that is going to annoy me. Yes, that is going to annoy me. But not enough to go over and shoot one in the head. This was where we had... Encounters with the little grasshopper. Uh -oh. Shine a light at them. Uh oh, what? Uh oh. Oh. I say, oh, don't underestimate. What a shame. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing about that shot. Cessation of hostilities complete. 
What the hell? How the hell did that miss? A giant mantis nymph. Okay. That... How did I miss that? How in the hell did I miss that? Yeah, the, the, the ranger's station's Do over... Do you like me? Over there somewhere, I believe. I had to bring new codes to all of them. Okay, and a fallen tree. Where are we? Silver Peak Mine. We've just passed there. Yeah, this is where I think I stopped and headed off in that direction. So, I'm pretty sure we've never been much further up here. Time to fight. Time to fight what, though? I don't suppose you could say... Time to fight! It's ten o'clock! That's all. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I see it! Steady. Fighty. Oh my god, I think I see quite a few. Right, let's try! Alright! Cessation of hostilities complete. Apparently that was a better idea. Okay. And there are rather a lot of them. Do I need Mantis four legs for anything? I probably don't. I can't imagine what I'd make with them. My spidey senses are telling me that is a bad play. Ready, steady, fighty. Yes, yes. Fight ah, I was about to say fighty watty though. However. Where are you go Here we go. Okay. I was gonna say surely there are no rats, oh oh. Okay. Is it oh my god, he's gone miles away! Dude! Fighting over. Out of curiosity, he did say we could mark do you remember that? He said mark and I am cute. Times like this, I wish you could talk. Actually, no. Okay, did you smell an ambush? Did somebody fall into a well? Is there a radioactive twister coming? Are you saying I should stab the next person I see? Did you smell an ambush? Uh, that I know. Uh, is it? Is there a radioactive twister coming? Uh, no. Did somebody fall into a well? Somebody fell into a well. Let's. Go check out that wet. Really? Really? Little Timmy fell into a wet. Okay. So it's like that, is it? Fine. Nothing but a. Ha no, 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 I don't see a. I don't see a. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? That's what you're doing. You are pulling my leg. There's no actual well. You're having a laugh. Ha 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 ha. Um. I thought he said we could point point and something. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually remember. Point and something there was. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm wondering if I sneak, Rex does something. No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not sure what the hell that was. I think that was Rex pulling my leg. Yes, I do. We have a campfire. Hello. Noak the Wanderer. What can I do for you? Um, uh, what are you doing here? The trees have a way of putting me at ease. And the cool air is easier on my lungs. It just seems more alive up here. Are you a merchant? Why do you sound suspiciously similar to my friend Russell? In a manner of speaking, yeah. People come to me with questions, and I provide answers. 
Okay, can you elaborate? Sometimes I can answer very specific questions about the future. People place a lot of value in these answers. However, I can't do it too often because of the strain. I tend to get headaches when I concentrate on finding answers. It's like watching history in reverse. Not everything comes through clearly. Even so, people always want to know what I see. Yeah, this, I've heard enough of this mumbo jumbo, sell your snake out to someone else, freak. Now, uh, how much? I am curious. I don't believe it for a second, but I am curious. I guess I could. It'll cost you 100 caps per question, with no refunds. I can only answer one question per day. I gotta admit, that's a good scam, because, because, like, if you could do, ah, oh, do 10 for a thousand caps, I'd really be very, very, very suspicious. Whereas, at only one question a day, because it puts too much strain on your mental powers, I'm less suspicious. I'm still bloody suspicious. But curiosity is going to get the better of me. I need to know. Okay, fine. Okay, what's your question? Will I deliver any important messages? Will I go to war? Uh, those are my questions? Fine. Will I deliver any important messages? Hold still, and I'll find an answer. Yes. To a distant place, untouched by bull or bear, but divided between the brand and the plow. Your message will wait. You question your actions, the way the gun, Look for peace. I can't, I can't see. It's too much, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that was useless. Definitely not going to the Divide. Sounds like a boring place. Okay. Okay. I think this is Jacob's town. Now, didn't I meet... I met a super mutant. I think he was called Neil. Wait, that was that Rex. Yeah, it's where I... It was up at Black Mountain where I met Raul. I met a super mutant called Neil, and he did tell me about this place, so... Yeah, it's, it's a town run by super mutants. And they don't seem... Unfriendly. Hello, super mutant. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. I'm not re really with anyone, so I'm, I'm looking for Dr. Henry? Doc's inside the lodge. Doc is inside the lo Okay, I have some questions. Why do the super mutants here dislike the NCR? Probably because they went to war with them several times. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Ooh, you don't like the... Okay, well, I'm... I'm with you on that, what do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Not anymore, Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Well, that's good news then, because if we hang around for 10 years or so, they'll just fade away. Because Kaiser is dead. Very dead. Trust me, I made sure of it. I'm pretty good at making sure things that I kill stay very, very killed. And what makes the NCR too ambitious? Human nature. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, this is... I'm not totally comfortable letting them, you know, keep the dam. Got to admit. But it's just, you know, them or the Legion or Mr. House. Although apparently I can take it myself. But really, do I want that pressure? 
Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Okay, and do you have dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been you, there myself. You heard now wrong. Let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Seriously, dude, it, it's just a collection of rubble, neon lights, and pools of vomit. It's just not particularly pleasant. If you want to go to a casino, I've got one in Prim. I might have to have a word with them and just say, by the way, there's a bunch of super mutants coming. Not because we have anything against super mutants, but we don't really see a huge number of them, and they might be a little, uh, you know, nervous. Best to just make sure nothing bad happens, right? Let's talk about something else. All right. And what's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Okay. Neil! Neil! Neil told me about this town! A lot of the mutants here found out about Jacobstown because of Neil. Our isolation works against us sometimes. Okay. So, are there any rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Honestly, that's probably better than most civilized towns. I mean, if you go to Vegas, trust me, everyone's picking a fight. Usually with a crowbar against somebody heavily armed in, you know, ranger armor and carrying some very, very expensive high-powered rifle, but there you go. I had some questions about Jacobstown, apparently. Such as? No idea. What is the history of Jacobstown? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Okay, I, I like that. And you know what? I'm a bit of a businessman. I might be able to help you out in that regards. I'd like to know about you. Yes, tell me about yourself. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Okay, that rings a bell for some odd reason, not sure why. Super Mutant Army. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. Yeah. Tell me more about the tr You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well... Most of the time. All right. Tell me about this tribal. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways nice after one. that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I've got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. I have to say, though, you, you, you mentioned that kind of casually. You know, uh, nuke, nuked an oil rig. He just, you know, that's like a small step in this story. Seems like I'd lead up to that, put a bit of drama behind it, you know. Just saying. Let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, goodbye, apparently. See you. Let's talk about good... Stupid big horners were making noise all night again. Big horners, thank you very much. You know, looking on the map, Jacobstown looks like it's a giant crater. Is it a crater or is it... Well, it's not a crater, is it? It's a sort of a natural bowl. A natural crater, if you will. And they've put... Have they built those, or are those just dead trees that were very conveniently We haven't seen anybody in a while. Placed. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits, too. No, they, they have got to... No, those look like trees. They actually look like trees that grew here. 
and then died in a very convenient wall-like formation. They have to have planted these. So it's like a double layer of defense. Yes, I'm in... Oh, they've got big horners. We could have checked here as well. Okay, you know what? As interesting as it might be... Wait a minute. Okay, so that's that's the front gate. Why does this kind of feel like the front gate? Because of the sign. Okay, so... The dock we are looking for is inside. Right? It's a little weird, isn't it? Friendly super mutants. What? Not... It's not weird that there are friendly super mutants. I've met a few. I mean, it's weird to have a town with friendly super mutants all just milling about. They don't seem to be doing anything... I don't know. I was going to say civilised. That sounds rude, doesn't it? But you know, like, sat down, drinking a beer, goofing off. They should do that. They should relax. Learn to relax, gentlemen and ladies. Oh, no, no, no. Super mutants are... Another human. One was enough. Another human. Oh, the dot. Hello. Keen. How are you doing? Bother someone else. Okay. I don't want anything to do with you. I was just being nice. Do you have problems with humans? What's the other human you mentioned? Why are the night... What do you do? Do you have a problem with humans? I mean, just... I'm only asking as politely as I can. Humans are always staring at things. We nightkin don't like being stared True. at. Is... Is... Uncomfortable. I get it. No, I, I told... Stare silently at him. No, 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 don't do that. Don't be rude. I'm wearing sunglasses anyway. You can't really see where I'm looking. How does that make you different from some humans? I know plenty of humans who don't like to be stared at. I cannot count the number of times that, what are you looking at? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. No, dude, seriously, I'm telling you, I have known a lot of people just like you. Uh, who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. All right, I, I can do that. I can do that. But just before I go, what do you do here? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Okay. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Well, no, I, su I suppose you need to walk a mile in a man's shoes to understand what it feels like to walk a mile in a man's shoes, I guess. Uh, why are the Nightkin here in Jacobstown, then? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. All right. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. No, I, I, I understand. You're feeling a little impatient. Finally. I will leave. Uh, okay. And when you said another human, why didn't you say another two humans? Hmm? Does he not look human to you? Or is it me that doesn't look human? I see. Okay, I see medical things. I see. Hello? Hello. Calamity. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Um, what do you do here? Does anyone other than super mutants come this way? You have an, you have an interesting name. You do, actually. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. I gotta tell you, Calamity is it's like a disaster sort of thing. A minor one. It could be a major one as well. I mean, you said it sounds nice. It is actually, but it's a nice word, isn't it? Really. Um, What do you do here? Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while, I venture wait, down wait. into the valley to trade the big one uh, hides and meat for supplies. Cure the, uh... I need something repaired? I don't. I'm a great 
repair person. Do anyone other than super mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Okay, well, I mean, that might be good in a way, have people a little nervous to come here. Let's just check out what you All right. for sale, because you never know, it could be useful. You have got a surgical mask, don't need that. Doctor's bags, I don't have a huge number of those. You have Radaway. I'll t oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not bring, I didn't bring anything to sell, which means I'm gonna lose out unless, do I have, I have got currency. I can sell currency. Yes, I can. See, there you go. And I've even, I've got cigarettes. You can have those. Okay, that's another 4,000 caps. Just a little closer. 437,000 now. Another yes. satisfied customer. Actually, yes, I am actually quite satisfied. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. And... Dr. Henry! I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, something's wrong with the cyberdog? What are you working on? You're, you're, a, you're a scientist. I'm surprised to find another human being here. I am, actually. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Yeah, I, I, I could see that, and also keep it more solitude-y. I mean, I guess the super mutants... Mind you, super mutants can be quite clever, aren't they? Coming in constantly with, like, little suggestions. I'd like you to perform cybernetic surgery. No, I wouldn't. Oh, do I actually have any implants? I've picked up loads of implants. I've not checked them in ages. Let's ask him the obvious question. So you're a scientist, then, are you? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Oh, you were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Yeah, you do know the guy that runs this place may have had something to do with that. I guess if you left, you didn't mind. Uh, canine neuroscience. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. That is about to change, my friend. That is if we must. About to change. Uh, what are you currently working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Okay, why is the stealth boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Okay. And does the stealth boy use hurt humans? Cause... It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its That's negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. Okay. And uh, why are you helping them? Because Marcus asked me to. And because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. I have another reason for you, although... I don't know, can I help? I suppose, I mean... Maybe there's, maybe there's a reward if I help you out? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Okay, Lily. Guess who I saw today? Quest edit. Okay, so, right, yeah, I, I can help you out. I can help you out. But 
What makes you think that Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Yeah, there's probably... I mean, I, I saw... Didn't I see some experiments involving the Night Stalker things in the Big Mountain? I believe I did. Maybe they were experimenting on them with the same technology that made the Stealth Boys. But let's talk about something else for now, if because... I'm actually here for a reason, and it's not for you to perform cybernetic surgery on me. Something is wrong with my cyber dog, and I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, uh, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack I... of hounds. No, I've met her. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs, there could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. I have a new brain for Rex. Search exceptional canine among Caesar's legion. Search canine among the... I've already found a brain, haven't I? I found a brain from one of the fiends. If I say this, is it... I, he... Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. I, I took a f down a fiend dog named Violetta. Fiend dog. That doesn't sound particularly good, does it? But let's see what he says. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Yeah, but they could also... No, you know what? I just... I remember the woman in, in Gibson. I, I mean, maybe she's got... Yeah, those dogs looked a little less like raider killing machines to me. And Legion dogs, probably not a good idea, all things considered. Not to mention the fact that I'd probably have to go back to their camp. I'm, I'm not totally sure whether they've repopulated the place. Uh, hold hold off right. for now. Your call. I'm going to go and talk. I'm going to go and talk to the yes, woman yes. in that yard. Yes, I am. We're going to go and see about... Oh, God. Completed. Well, I've already got one. I just... I don't think that's the brain I want to actually use. Should I wander around here? I don't really have, you know what, I don't really have much reason to be wandering around being nosy other than the fact that I'm a very nosy person. Right, so, now I have to... Okay, I have a feeling that's Lily. Yeah, I, 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 I have two choices now. I could continue on with my search for the dog brain. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I think I'm going to sort the dog brain out first, and then then I can help them with the, um, the problem they're having here. Yes, indeed. I... Talk to... Let's talk to Lily once we come back, because I've got to come back to do the surgery anyway. So, we just go off, find the van. I'm hoping, now that I've been here they'll let me drive to got a problem could use your help been having trouble with ncr mercs harassing the town and they just showed up again okay uh how have they been harassing the town killing our big horners shooting at the lodge that sort of thing that's it's getting hard harassing. to keep people from retaliating i'm not totally sure why you would want to i mean if the ncr are out here shooting at you you should shoot them back you sure these mercenaries work for the yes, NCR? Yes, I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. But they're mercs. They're not in uniform, so if killing them... Why don't you just shoot them? Not looking to fight. That'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. Okay, what would you like me to You're do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not uh... asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Um, 
Okay, but if I pay them off, you will reimburse me? Yes? I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Although, to be honest with you, if you think humans will listen to other humans more than they will listen to a, like, nine-foot-tall, hulking green figure, you really didn't spend too much time around humans. No, you didn't. Let's just, uh... Make sure my torch is recharged. Uh, yeah, um, just in case. Okay, you know what? He's got his weapon out. Okay. Oh, there's one there as well. We got... Okay. Damn muties. Wasteland is better off without them. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Our business is with the muties, not you. What? I I'm a hero in the NCR. I think you need to leave now. Yes, I do. Whoa, whoa. Thought you looked familiar. I'm just doing a job, nothing more. Politics aren't my thing, so if you say go, we'll go. No hard feelings. Okay. That was... Surprisingly easy? Okay, when you said we... We'll go. Were you using the royal we? Yippee, yeah, there'll be no wedding bells for today. Cause I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Jingle, jangle. As I go riding merrily. 